Greetings, welcome back again everyone. Zara here with Nerf Rival Group Washington State. And today I'm going to be doing a quick little review here of the Adventure Force Nexus Pro. One of the most exciting blasters of the year. So we'll get right into my loadout here. Everything fits really nicely into this case once I've broken it down a bit. So for the blaster itself, what I've done is I have a Axion RGB sight here and because the Nexus Pro is Picatinny I was able to get this riser for it and the reason I have it on the riser is as you can see here I've mounted a flashlight laser combo and you can choose the laser or the flashlight or the flashlight and the laser really cool optic to have and with the blaster that offers the power of the Nexus Pro, you can actually paint your target with the laser at range and hit it. Which is something that cannot be said of most foam blasters. I've also rigged up here a sling point. The Nexus Pro stock doesn't actually have a sling point on it. It's pretty cool that it comes with these extra O-rings for the seal. That was a great move by Dart Zone and Adventure Force. So I've just used a little key ring here, and it actually works quite good. So also included in my loadout, we have the two-point bungee sling there. We have our jolt. Because you got to have LeJolt, right? Emergency LeJolt. We've got our tactical operator gloves, because it's got to be tactical operator. And we've got our extra tactical stay tactical wristband here courtesy of one coop 772 thanks coop we've got our 12 round mag that the blaster came with for short darts we have our stock sights here that it came with i have five talon magazines as you can see, I have one of them already loaded up and ready to go here. And we have our full-length dart magazine that came with the blaster. And as you can see here, I've got plenty of short darts ready to go. So one of the coolest things about this blaster is that it will fire mega darts. And as you can see here, I have my mega darts in these battle cases. These battle cases fit perfectly onto my yoke here, which I'll show you in just a moment. As you can see, you can fit six mega darts in there really snug, and they're in the perfect spot on my yoke where I can get to them quickly, muzzle load, and then fire off a couple rounds with the Nexus Pro. It's excellent for shield break. A lot of people still don't realize that it actually does fire mega darts. Now you don't want to push it in too far there with the muzzle. So I've already primed the blaster. One of the gripes I see a lot of people have about this blaster is that when you prime it, there's no way to deprime it without dry firing. So the solution to that is simply to take a mega dart, and you can see we'll try to line it up to our target over there, and then you just fire away. Throw on my laser there, we'll see if we can get close. It was a little short, so depending on how the Mega Dart fits will influence the actual power and range of it. And again, one of the neat things about this blaster and a laser sight is the blaster is powerful enough you can paint your target with the laser and actually hit it. So now we're going to go ahead and load up some Talon mags here and take a few other shots. The short dart adapter here for the Nexus Pro is compatible with Talon and Katana mags, which is awesome. So give me just a moment here, I'm going to clear the way so you can get a look at my yoke. I'm going to go ahead and load up the rest of these mags real quick into this yoke to show you the snug fit. So 
So it turns out this yoke and most standard yokes will take two talons. In testing I could actually fit two talons and a full length dart magazine in them, which is also awesome. The more the merrier, right? And I'll throw the full length stock magazine and the half length stock magazine in this yoke. Go ahead and move this out of the way now. This is the flambeau case, Walmart, 10 bucks if you can get it on sale. Great for Nerf blasters. Let's go ahead and sling this bad boy up and we'll take some shots. So the bungee sling is right where I want it, it's a really good fit. Move this chair out of the way now. So this is my load out here. You can see these telemax fit right into this yoke perfectly. And the mega darts also fit right onto here. So I'm all set for shield break or whatever I need to do in live battle. So let's take a few shots at our target over here and see how we do. That was a direct hit. That was another. Three. Four. And all five shots went right into the target. Right where I was painting with the laser, which is awesome. So now let's go ahead and remove the talon. First we have to prime. Now see, one thing I don't like about the blaster is this slide likes to slide back down when you're holding it down. So you kind of have to watch that. And we'll take a couple shots with the full length mag here. So I'll get that loaded up real quick. So Dark Zone doing some great things with blasters this year. The Nexus Pro, the Aeon Pro. I hope to do a review of the Aeon Pro sometime in the near future. I've been extremely impressed with the Nexus Pro. It's been everything I expected and more living up to the pipe. And the fact that it fires Mega, as I said, is just even more amazing. And it turns out that it will also fire Rival, which is even more amazing. So we're going to remove our adapter here. And we're going to throw in our full lengths and take a few shots with that. Fire our laser flashlight combo here again, and here we go. See how we do. That was right there. Two, three, four, and all five darts right where they're supposed to go. So again, the Nexus Pro, really great blaster everyone. It's definitely worth the price. It's definitely living up to all the hype that I thought it would. You have the option of short darts or rival or full length darts. You can mount it up on a sling rather easily. It's right where you want it to be for, you know, when you need to get your aim. The stock is adjustable. It's compatible with many other types of stocks. It even comes with these little rings here. A lot of people don't know about that for the seal in the blaster itself. Great touch by Dart Zone. Picatinny rails. You can actually remove this grip and there's another Picatinny right here. So you can mount up any type of grit you would like. That's Picatinny. You've got your safety on here. A lot of people probably will mod that out because, you know, that's what a lot of the modding community likes to do. Um, out of darts and several other aftermarket places 
and stores are already offering upgrades such as spring spacers to increase your velocity. I know there's another outfit that's offering a riser here for the rail so that it's parallel with this rail. Given my loadout, I actually like this rail a little bit lower, excuse me, lower so that I'm able to use the RGB optic on this riser. So I kind of like this little low, it's perfect for me. And yeah, just uh, an amazing blaster. It goes out amazing with this loadout, with my Mega. Everything's right here where I want it. Extremely pleased with the Dart Zone slash Adventure Force Nexus Pro. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this review, everyone. This is probably the blaster of the year, I would say. Unless we get some type, excuse me, some type of really good offering from Hasbro or another offering from Dart Zone.